All right, so we're back with the podcast. Episode two. Episode two. And now we want to talk about the apps. And we all know the apps. Should we name the apps? Dating in the gay community. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Dating in the gay community. And um, you can't mention dating in the gay community without mentioning the apps, the famous apps. And they are? We have Jack. We have Grinder, We have A for A. We have... Do people still use A for A? Somebody do. Oh, my God. That's so old. We got BGC. <laughs> yeah. that, that website don't even exist no more. But we have, like, Plenty of Fish. Plenty of Fish. Gra- what, Growler? Tag. T- tag? Did Not tag. That? What's it called? The one um, the one that she told me to get on? Tinder. 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 Obviously, I ain't on it. Um, hell, Instagram. <laughs> Instagram is the new okay. game app. Instagram the new Jack. Right. But, um... I think, okay, I, I could see apps as a good thing or a bad thing. I think apps can be good because I met Will on the app. Me and Will are friends. I met, I met a lot of my gay friends and, like, gay, I guess, associates as far as, like, people who I um get different things done from, like, my stylist to, like, a mechanic to, like, a photographer different people I have met off of apps. So it, networking is what apps are also good for. Mm-hmm. But um, when it comes to dating, I mean, I've had, I've met some people off of apps. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to like I never met nobody off of app. I've had some interesting encounters off of apps. Um, I had some sex off of apps. But um, how do you feel about apps? Oh, the apps... Are right, a fucking crutch. You think the apps are a crutch? Absolutely. Now let me let me start off. I'm gonna give you the the same thing Deshaun just said. The apps can be good for for use for good and bad, because there are social networking apps. Let's let me clarify that again. For all the people who say, them ain't number fucking apps or sex apps. No, they are social networking apps. You choose to just use them as hookup apps. Right. Now, because again, I have been Deshaun. We met off an app. We never had sex. We met as friends, looking for friends, and we that's who we are. Right. So you can find friends off these apps. You can find acquaintances. You can find lovers. You can find hookups. You actually can find relationships. There are some people who have met on the apps, and they are in relationships. I know a couple of relationships so, that started off and still together. Successful relationships. Su- successful. But now, let me go by saying this as well. This is what I don't like about the apps, because majority of it is only people who want to hook up, which blows my mind it is what it is but it pisses me off honestly the apps are a crutch because they it helps people to rely and not have the courage or the confidence to see a guy in person and speak to them that's one thing and that's why i don't like about the apps because the apps give you yeah it lets you know what whoever is close to you it, it, it gets it's very much the gay radar so it lets you know that oh it's a man in 0.01234567878 which is a great thing so you can see the guys that's in your area but the only thing is, they may not be the person who they are in their pictures. A lot of people have their pictures lot. A lot of have people have pictures of inanimate objects. Random stuff. Random subjects. Random stuff. So, and a lot of times when you when you when they do unlock their profile pictures, it's their it's their dick in their ass. Right. right. And it's not even a lot of their faces, it's their dick in their ass. But what kills me is that this is the reason why I don't like this is what the hardest and the challenging things is in dating in the gay community because of the apps. The apps have made it Again, it has made a crutch for people not to talk to people. So it's ruined communication amongst. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. Right. You, the communication is horrible. Right, right, right. Like, for instance, we can be at the club or at the bar and everybody's on Jack yeah. at the gay club and at the gay bar. Why? Right. And all these people are standing next to you. You log on and you're going to see everybody right next to you. The fuck? Why just can't you just go and say, hey, how you doing? Where you from? Right. Start the conversation. Like back in the day, they didn't have, they didn't have, how did the guys meet back in the day? They didn't have Jack. They didn't have Ryan. They had they to have talk to like each other. They had to talk to each other. When yeah. they went to the clubs, most of the time, that's, that's all they had was like gay clubs or gay bars that they kind of like secretly went to or whatever. Or if they like hooked up, they went to like, I heard people going to like, um, of course, like people like bathhouses and like bookstores and stuff and stuff back in the day. Right. Well, people still be going to bathhouses now, but I don't know if bookstores and stuff are still. Damn, bookstores? Yeah. They used to have them, you know, them nasty bookstores or whatever, the sex shops or whatever. Oh, wow. Yeah, those kind of places. But now with the main source of 
people had to interact. That's what I'm saying. Right. Have the courage to nigga grow some balls, literally. And, and really that's and talk to someone. Interaction is actually really important in a relationship. Whether it's a romantic relationship, a friendship, you do need to have that real life communication and not just texting. Absolutely. Even though Te- let me tell you. Oh, okay, here we go again. Yeah. Technology. <laughs> yeah. Technology is a crutch. Again, even though texting is a form of communication. I am the king of texting. I will text you a book. See, <laughs> I will I'm not doing that. I will text it's you either, It's all quicker day. for me to tell you what I want to say than texting a whole damn paragraph. I'm not doing it's that. It's quicker for me to text. See, I feel like I can, you're lazy. <laughs> that's you not lazy. Communicate. I can even better with my words Whatever. in script. Your words can still come out of your mouth faster. But it's just like with writing. I, I write better than I speak. That's sure. my excuse. Okay, mm-hmm. clear. But back to um, the dating in the community. Here's the problem. Again, like I said, let's go back to being in the club or the bar and everybody's on jack. You see so many people, they're not even enjoying themselves. They're too busy standing against the wall on their phone. Get off your phone and say hi. Interact with people. Get you a cocktail. You know, if you're not, I'm not the most, I would say, um, outgoing personality. Lord knows I ain't. But when I get a cocktail, it, my ambitions go down a little bit and it gives me a little bit more courage. The liquor courage, quote unquote, really kicks in. Right. And say, if I see a guy, he look at me, I look at him, I'm going to say, hey, how you doing? Where you from? Even if I get rejected from the guy. Move on. You keep it pushing and go to the next. That's the problem. I tell all, people all the time, I said, the most time I enjoy meeting guys out in person, like at a bar or something like that. Yeah. Or maybe at a, maybe even at a, um, a house party or stuff like that versus the, the apps. I've met some people off the apps, but the apps don't really work for me. I, it's just me personally. And I, me and Deshaun, we have this conversation a lot, and I do have this gripe about the apps. I hate low key being on them sometimes. I delete them for months, then I'll get back on it when I'm bored. Mm-hmm. But the apps really don't do nothing for me in my dating life. Right. And not to say I can't possibly meet But you have met them. people off of apps. I have. Right. I have. But it does. I have a better interaction meeting people in person. Right. I, and I prefer that because in the apps, you can be whoever you want, you know. It's almost like Instagram. It's Absolutely. Like it's very People create that. this persona. Absolutely. <laughs> if y'all go back to our first podcast, <laughs> exactly. you, you, we get a lot of that as well on yeah, these apps. That's true. People. Meeting people in person give you a much more accurate depiction. Absolutely. You could actually see, you know. How they move. You're still meeting their representative at that moment, but you can know, you know what they truer, look like. Yeah. You know what they look like in person. Yeah. You yeah. don't have to wait. You could be talking to somebody on the app who they have not unlocked their photo, who doesn't have a visible photo for weeks, and then they be like, Well, I don't want to unlock my app, my photo, or I'm DL, or I'm discreet, or this, that, and third. I ain't got time for all that. Right. And that, so that's a whole nother discussion with the apps. You deal with the DL culture. Allegedly. You, yeah, allegedly. First of all, real DL men do not know about Jack and Grind right. or any app. Okay, well, the alleged DL culture. And I think you also deal with people who... It's like you'll have someone who's looking for serious stuff mixed with someone who's just kind of fucking around. So you have 90% of bullshit, 10% of serious. Exactly. And I think that's that can create a real problem when it comes to apps. But also, we have a friend who tried out this new way of dating, which just isn't really a new way of dating, but it's a matchmaking a matchmaking service. Would you do a matchmaking service? Yeah, I think once I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try too. I think um, I think matchmaking is for those people who are really serious and who say. Our friend claimed he was really serious, but that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. Um. <laughs> that might be episode three. That's a whole nother discussion. <laughs> but I think when you say, well, you know what. I work a lot. I don't have time to go out like that. When I do go out, I don't, I'm not having any success. I'm tired of the apps. I'm just ready to really start my love life. Or let's say this, because a lot of people, they go down to the bar and meet guys or whatever. And them, a lot of those guys are the same guys on Jack and Grinder or whatever. And the people be like, well, you can't find no love at the club. Okay, let's just say Starbucks. There's Starbucks. There's there's, you can meet a guy at the gas station. We live in Atlanta, so you're going to run into a gay guy anywhere. There's guys at Walmart. There's guys we'll see at the gas station. There's guys at, They're everywhere. at Publix or Kroger grocery store. Now, if you see a guy at, that you know is gay, because you do have to be careful, because a lot of guys don't have the quote-unquote stereotypical gay look, and you want to go and approach them, you see them, and you, they, you, see, you notice they're looking at you, and you, you see them. Why, don't you, why wouldn't you just go say, hey, how you doing? If you're in public, she's like, hey, how you doing? Like, or joke about whatever cereal he getting or like, like, oh, kind of make a joke like, oh, I can tell you're a bachelor because looking for some in your basket. You know, kind of, kind of, 
have that kind of like flirtiness. Right, right, right. And to exchange numbers and see where it goes. Right. We go to the gym. There's a lot of gay guys that go to the gym, especially here in Atlanta. How you know? You know. <laughs> now, that, now, if y'all, now, I ain't gonna give away all the secrets, but that's where a lot of the deal me in there too, Ooh. in the gym. Y'all better stop, okay? Don't get me wrong. Guys like to work out. And that's another thing too. And that's kind of um thing I've been, as I've been going to the gym, even though me and Deshaun, we mostly go to the gym together. The funny thing is, we go to the gym together, but we work out separately. It's just crazy. I'll be in my but, own zone. <laughs> we actually do do two different workout kind of routines, so we definitely be in our own zone. But there's, I want to get to the point where even at the gym where I can, I can start, I'm going to start talking to other people who I see regularly at the same time I go to the gym. You know, that way you like, cause you, they notice you, you notice them, you, we both there at 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever, or four or six o'clock or whatever the time is, you see them all the time. You say, hey, how you doing? What's up, bro? You know, good workout. I right. see you. You know, just to encourage people to, you can start a conversation like that. That's how, again, that's how you can make friends. Right. And not just, exactly. It's, it's about making friends too. Not just It's about networking You can't fuck everybody. everybody Baby You can't fuck every friend then Now that's another issue too In that's, the community Oh That's a whole Another issue That might be podcast Three or four Okay Cause that is a whole Another issue But back to dating What are your difficulties That you find Within our community of dating Off and Off and on apps I think as far as The apps are concerned The inconsistency I think people Treat it like they treat the apps like it's like you're not it's so two dimensional that you forget you're messing with the real person. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, and I, I can I'm guilty of it, too. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to act like I'm some angel and I don't do things like this. But far as to you just being in a conversation with someone or you being some type of relationship, not relationship, but you being some type of situation ship with someone via app and they'll like just stop talking to you or even oh they'll ghost you quick on the app you get ghosted real quick you on the app ghost and blocked right like out of nowhere you be like damn we were just having a good conversation I thought it was going somewhere they right. said no they didn't ghost it and block it like you could be sending them messages you could clearly see and they can clearly see the message that you send them but they're like they just stop talking to you even when the app starts taking to the next level and you're on the phone or you're texting whatever you can still get these really inconsistent Patterns, these inconsistent patterns of behavior when a person, you know, just stops calling you or stops texting you or maybe you stop calling them or stop texting them. And I think the apps kind of have led to that being like really an issue in the community. Oh, absolutely. Because like I said, once we get past the apps, we got to the point where we exchange numbers. And now if you're not call- at this, oh, this will who I am now. Right. If I'm not hearing from you consistently, or I see that you're being inconsistent, deuces, holla, right. bye, bye, bye. I'll say this, cause I, okay, so sometimes you gotta get to know, you got to get to know a person, and sometimes once you get to a certain point, whether it's via app or via phone, you kind of can feel that. Maybe this isn't what I want. Oh, absolutely. But here's the thing with that. This is when you be a man enough to say, hey, I think you're cool, but I don't think this is going to go that way for us. What about if it's even a friendship? How would you? I think you're cool, but I don't think we're going to click in that way. Okay. Be grown. Because I, I, you, be what? Be grown. (laughs) Be a grown man. Be a grown ass man. That's my whole thing is being an adult. Be an adult and just communicate how you feel and how you feel. But let me say this. I will say the apps and via just texting people does give make it an easier way out because now you just stop responding. Right. And you might even block them. You know what I'm saying? If it gets to the point where they keep texting or you. Have you ever blocked like someone after they showed you their face pic and you were interested? No. Oh. I have blocked people once they've been belligerent oh, or they belligerent. just. Couldn't. Oh, people be talking mad crazy and mad shit. They do be real tough on the apps, too. And, or if you just really, like, pandering me for about, two, about sex. Yeah. Block. Yeah. Mm-mm. I, because, again, I know that I'm sure that has happened to both of us. Right. Really, that has happened. I've unlocked my pictures. If, if, if at that moment of time where I don't have my pictures viewed and I unlock them or they just start responding. Right. I mean, yeah. Or then, I think it happens and, to and, everybody. The, now... I ain't gonna lie, it hurts your feelings a little bit. I've blocked people before. It hurts your feelings. I will say that it will hurt your feelings right. because 
you've kind of like had you been especially when you're talking with someone kind of a little a little bit consistent a little bit and you find it like okay i'm gonna show this person what i really really look like for the people who that have private photos uh and it's your face that's your private photo and not your genitals um so then you finally or oh, they be like because you know this is the oh this is one thing i can't stand what? when you say hey how's it going they, they respond back it's pick yeah, that's just rude if you don't have your photos because me the times that I do have them private or whatever I'll send a message and I'll unlock my photo right so that way you know who you see it but especially just say if I didn't do it at that particular time and then they'd be like hey okay we've been talking for a while can I see a picture of you and I sit, I send them a photo or I'll unlock my photo for them to see and then they just go ghost or just yeah. get cold or they block you it happens I think that's just I will say this with apps all yeah, of this yeah. behavior is very toxic. Um, it's toxic, but at the same time, I do feel like I've gotten used to it. So when I get blocked, it's like oh, that's well. the sad part about that. We yeah. are numb to it because because I've even blocked people after they show their photos to me. It's a consistent thing. Why you just look, just to say? And even just, okay, okay. What, what's wrong with people telling people? Does it okay? Let me say this. What's and wrong with like, just letting the person down? Right. What's that? The what, correct way. The correct way. Just saying, hey, you cool, but you're not my type. Because it's easier to just block them. It is. I guess that's how you spare people's feelings. And status. that's not it. Yeah. They feeling still going to get hurt. <laughs> like, you, like, I'm going to figure it out. Like, so oh, I guess man. by not responding. No, it's easy to spare. And, and yeah. blocking them spares their feelings from you saying you're not my type. Because maybe you're not my type, but it hurts your feelings. You're not sparing their feelings. You're sparing yourself. Mm. How so? Because if I just block you, I don't have to explain that to you. I don't have to go through the motions with right. you. That gives you a cop out. Yeah. And not I can just erase you from my life. Oops. Versus having doing the work of, you know, give you an explanation. I mean, I get it or whatnot, but it's a And then I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying that's probably it's it's an easy way out, like you said. And with that being said, how about the lock picks and the unlock picks? Like what your picks, why would they be locked? A lot of times, I don't want people to see who I am. Okay. Because I just want to see if they're going to get to know me for my personality or based on looks. Okay. That's why I kind of like do those tests. I call them tests. Mm -hmm. If I don't have them, let's, let me see. The funny thing is, you know, you get more responses from locked photos. Because I think you have people your be interested. They be like, I wonder what he look like. Mm -hmm. It but creates then, that mystery. Right. Yeah. And I, did, I was like, okay, let me just do a test and see. how. I was like, oh, so you respond to a picture of an unknown right versus if you see me right because then okay let's just say me and this person we've been ch we've been chatting on the app and we just been having a good conversation my photo's not open their photo may be open or not then we get to the point where like you said when it's the revealing of who's behind the curtain right then it just it goes to blank and block I so you really want really like feeling me like that. Right. You want to feel me based on the personality. But I disagree. I think people I think we do feel each other, but I think people are so vain and shallow nowadays, especially in the gay community, that they're willing to eliminate that potential great relationship, whether it be a friendship or a romantic relationship, now, because they don't like how you let's look. stay right there. Yeah. Shallowness it is yeah. And vanity mm -hmm. within the gay community. Within even trying to date someone. Let, don't get me wrong. We all have two eyes. Yeah. And men, we are very visual. I'm not saying that women aren't, but we're speaking about men because we're two gay guys. Okay. We're very visual. Mm -hmm. And we do um, see with our two eyes what we're attracted to. So either you can see a person and not be attracted to them or see someone else and be attracted to them. That it, Mind you, that attractive person could treat you like shit, be cheating on you, give you all kinds of diseases. And the unattractive person have the best personality, probably your husband, you know. Can the be perfect the, person, the, just, just right, right for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. Right. Can be very bad. Right. But because we're so fickle and shallow in our community that we do only choose the better looking guy. And one thing we have learned, and, and from even doing our self-improvement of our own self, that if you ain't got a body, right. you, you can... I always call the shout. I would say I I call them body monsters. Body is the new face, baby. You got a body in the community. 
your face ain't got to be that you cute. You can go far in life. <laughs> Shit. When I'm telling you, having a muscular, sexy body and having your shirt off and, and your underwear on, on, on any app or just in general. Because guys are more physical anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're going to be more attracted to that. Now, I'm going to sound semi like a hypocrite. I do. I'm very attracted to muscular guys. Right. Muscular, thick kind of football player, athletic basketball player. Right. But you're, Those kind of guys I like. But... You're not going to like... No, I've dated everybody but that. That's the funny thing. Right. Like, that's the guys who I am physically attracted to. I've dated maybe two guys who were like the actual... But when it comes to the picks thing, if someone unlocks their picks and they're not the body type that, you're, that you like, you're not going to like block them. No. If y'all already had like I'm, some type I, again, of... Again, I'm... T- Maybe because yeah, you know I'm I'm very kind of like honest and I'm kind of like very vocal about a lot of things. So Everything. Just, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll just say, hey, you're not my type. Right, right, right. Like I think you're cool, but you're not my type. There's plenty of guys that I have talked to mm-hmm. that I've said, you know, I think you're cool, but you're not my type for me. Right. We can be cool and we can be friends if you would like. If not, I'm okay with that as well. Right. Because I'm not going to force something. Well, to if not, if you want to be first. No, because if not, if you don't want to be. Like, you get it. Like, I get it. Like, you may have enough like, friends. Oh, you may you, uh, yeah. No, now you friends on me because you're not attracted to me. So people can have that kind of feeling. Like, yeah. I want to be your friend. You're not friends on me if, based on I like you. And you know? that's how you feel. Then. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at all. Right. I, don't get me wrong. I'm by no means an ugly guy. Right. I think I'm very handsome, right. but I'm not, I know I'm not everybody's type. No one is. And the thing is, I'm very boy next door. We're very boy next door. Uh-huh. Who fit to be? Who gonna be snatched? <laughs> come the, by the time the end of 20, 2019, because we both been in the gym and his body is getting together. By so time my up. body and my face for the match. So Jay gonna be able to tell me shit. But I'm gonna watch. And me, this is actually, I'm going to put this out to you, Deshaun. This is going to be our social experiment. Okay. For when our bodies get to the one that, the way that we want. We got to show our bodies online. No, I'm not, not doing that. Not so much online. online, but even like when we go out or even just say, maybe just take a shirtless photo. See the attention. And see how much attention you yeah, get okay. versus how you how much attention you get now. Okay. I bet you you get way more attention. Of course. With your shirt off than when you do with your shirt on. I'm going to post it. Of course I'm you post would. I'm going to post a photo on Instagram with just me and my shirt on. Probably take a picture of how my body looks now, even though my body is. <laughs> it's not. It's a little bit nicer right. now. But, and then I'm going when to, when I get the body, once my body is to where I want it to be, or it's really at the attractive stage, I'm going to post a shirtless photo. And I bet you I get. Of course you would, because everyone, the visual is going to be. Watch how, watch how much the things going to be. You think you'll go on more dates? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Oh, that would be a cool experience. Oh, absolutely. Watch you. Watch Watch what I'm saying. Watch. I bet you we're going to get way more. De- and mind you guys, me and Deshaun are not fat at all. We're not. We just like, we have regular bodies. Deshaun's actually slimmer than I am. I'm really like medium slim. Deshaun is like slim. So we, we don't even have, we're not even in a big guy category or even a thick guy category, really. But once our body is to a muscular state or where it's more like athletic looking, Watch how many more guys that we're going to get. We're going to pull so many more guys. I'm telling you. Because guys are, again, we, they, people are attracted to what they see. And, again, having a muscular, fit body is more appealing and attractive to people. I mean, it is to me, too. See? I'm telling you. You watch. know what? I think I'm, I'm going to open my... Dude, now gonna... we're going to have to go through the thing of, do people want us for our body or do they want us for us? As long as they want me, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think I'm gonna open my pics on Jack and have my face on Jack. Okay. I ain't never did that before. So my question to you, why haven't you put your face picture on Jack? I was thinking about it and I just don't be wanting people to know who I am. Did you ain't famous? <laughs> I know, but it's, I don't know, I just and I also do it for leverage too. Okay, so what's the leverage? Leverage of it's almost like you will have something to pull from a person. So you like that having that anticipation, giving the person anticipation. Almost like I got a card I can play. Hmm. But I feel like if all your stuff out there, you ain't got no cards you can play. I mean, that's just if you butt naked on plastic. Yeah, you ain't. You didn't gave up everything. There's nothing they want to see. Some people are shit. Well, but um, are you knocking it though? No, that's their life. But yeah, and I just feel like I thought about just walking around and having people connect my face to that 
face on the dating app. And I don't know. Well, I don't know how everybody's I, on it. I know, but I just feel like. And I, you, you, you friend, think about it. You're not that popular. You don't go out like that. No. You're not really social. So your face still going to be like, oh. Like, oh, that's, that's him, me. y'all. That's him. Right. I don't know. It's just weird right. to me. Right. The, the pod, like, people don't even really know us from our podcast yet. Right. Like, once. Now, I can see once we've blown up. Right. And got a little notoriety, a little popularity. Then, like, okay, I don't want people to be knowing or be like, "Oh, that's him, that's him." Like, "Ooh, ain't that you?" Right. And I it's not it even a that. fame type thing. It's just I don't know. It's just weird to me. But I think I think if I want to take dating more seriously, it's something I should do. Okay. So, with that being said, how much results are you getting from apps? And be honest, I get more sex results. Dating. How much dating? I don't get a lot of dating. I don't. Okay. So, but at the same time. I don't, I, I don't try hard on the apps either. Okay. I treat it, especially with, because I was off of Jack for a year. And this time yeah. when I've gotten back on Jack, I just have a totally different mindset. Like, I'm not taking it as seriously. I'm not rushing to do anything. Not that I ever was. I'm not really, it's like, I'm taking it for what it is. Are like, you taking it as the gay Instagram? Kind of, sort of. I'm just, you know. If Loki, I mean, that's, that's how it is for me. If I meet people and not like I got a couple of numbers off there, you know, we just kind of talking. It's not really, I don't, I don't. You don't even go that far. It's not even really going that far. I will say this, and I feel like especially with Jack, per se, mm-hmm. or Grind or whatever, the ones that that you can see the guys in the area. Mm-hmm. So if you basically if you like most of us have the free one, you only see them guys that's in your area, and then after like a month, it's the same dudes. Yeah. Over and over, every that kind of like drives you insane. Then you you get on there every day. It's actually it's also an addiction because you're checking it every day just to see if it's somebody new. But that time it's not. And also, I always feel again, all these guys in this area that's close to you, we're on there for months on end. That means nobody's getting into a relationship. Nobody's even trying to get get. Nobody has gotten off the app, or at least went on a. Not say that they didn't go on a date with somebody from the app. But nobody has got to the point where they have deleted the app or have no need for the app. Right. So when you get into a relationship, you're deleting the app. Absolutely. You went and get on there for friends? Because um, I've seen people who say, yeah, I'm in a relationship, but I just want friends. I've seen that on that, the app. Again, th- okay. With that being said, I can, I, yes and no. I've seen couples on the apps. That's oh, like absolutely. They become one all the time. Yeah. Be trying to do all kinds of things right. together. Right. And hey, to each his own. Oh, okay. I'm down. I will say this. <laughs> I will say this. I, like I said, I'll say yes and no because, again, you can kind of meet friends anywhere. You don't necessarily have to, especially, I would say for people like us who live in Atlanta, if you're trying to meet gay people as friends, you don't necessarily need the app for that. Because a lot of times, people that you work with are gay. People, I mean, if you go to any club, it's gay. If you get invited to a house party, you only need one gay friend who knows somebody who knows somebody and yeah, knows somebody. The friends so of friends. You'll make yeah. friends. Right. You can make friend of a friend. So it's one of those things. Facebook. I mean, yeah. you can make friends. So you don't necessarily have to have Jack for friends. Now, if you live in a town or an area where there's not that many people, probably so. Just because you want to find out who's gay in your area and you want to like meet other gay people. But not in Atlanta when it's everybody's like one point zero zero, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Literally, right? It's different if it's, if somebody's like maybe a mile or two two miles or far, or maybe you look like something like I'm just saying Wyoming or somewhere, right? You know where it probably is spread out. Mm. But again, that's and black like, gay in particular, and black gay in particular. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, so y'all tell us about what apps we missing. I know it's some apps out there that we don't know about yet, and they they like real cool and stuff. Is it like a house party app, or is it like the apps that got all the um, football players and the, the famous what, people? Right. What's that app? What's y'all, that? Give me y'all that even got to put in the comments. Y'all can like DM us. Y'all can right. <laughs> send us an instant message on uh, YouTube. So tell us about that app, and like just tell us about your app adventures and, and dating adventures in general. Right. So yeah. I think that covers dating for now. There's always more we can say. But. And I will say this. Guys, try your best to have an equal balanced life. Don't just rely on the apps all the way to find your mate. Go out and talk to people. You see people go to a bar. Go to, you know, maybe get invited to a house party. Or something like I'm going to do is going to start Well, maybe people own. are scared to get punched in the face. 
At a gay bar? No, I... Well, at a, when you speak to a person in public and they're not gay. And they you know gay when anymore. somebody's gay. I'm not talking about walking up Don't to Don't just go random, up to any nigga. <laughs> right. I'm not saying go and walk up to random, any random straight man and be like, hey, nigga, let me get your number. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, let's be real. Like, <laughs> oh, use your God. common sense. That's funny. You know if somebody else is gay. You know somebody, if they're checking you out. And you in Walmart and they checking you out. And they checking you out. And, and they you grab your them. crotch. Now, if they grab your crotch, you might want to push them off or maybe punch them. Right. That's kind of rude and disrespectful. Okay, or well, grab your that's, ass. That's still rude and disrespectful, okay. too. But only if you like it. But uh, <laughs> okay. if you like it, by all I mean. means. But if you see somebody, you, you know, see them checking you out or whatever, say, hey, how you doing? Make a joke like, hey, you know, them toasters on sale or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Shut just up. to start the conversation <laughs> and, and go from there. So that's just my... Dating tips and advice. That's right. And don't be afraid to stare back. Oh, absolutely. You look at me, I'm looking at you. And in fact, within five minutes, I'm going to get that number. Mm-hmm. Even if you say you don't want you good or not. I'm okay with that if you say you good. I'm just going to move on. Right. Don't be afraid to get rejected. That's another thing. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Have some confidence. Muster up some kind of confidence to talk to the one that you think might be your potential boo. Gotcha. And that, that goes for me, too, because I don't be talking to nobody. Yeah, but, uh, he don't. <laughs> on that note, thank y'all. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Share. Tell everybody. You know, we growing. Help us grow. Bye. Bye, y'all.